to use accelerometer first of all select appropriate filter and insert it then switch on the equipment and after turning it on allow the equipment for some time so that it get warm up and it maintain the temperature which is suitable for the maximum working of the calorimeter after that insert the tube containing a blank in a cuvette holder adjust the galvanometer so that it gives us the zero absorbance or it gives us a 100% transmission with the help of adjustment knobs in the calorimeter now remove the blank and place the test solution or standard solution in the sample holder now take the reading with the help of uh, the galvanometer or digital display and note the reading when the needle becomes stable or the digital display it gives you the reading after that repeat the process with the tube containing the standard solution and note the reading this is a galvanometer uh, in the lower side we can have a person transmission and in the upper side it is called the optical density or the absorbance of the solution how to prepare a solution for investigation for that purpose we need three different tubes or three different solution the first one is called the blank the second one is the standard and the third one is the test blank is a solution which is used to eliminate and to minimize the effect of light absorption by the reagent use usually water blank is used to check any kind of absorbance by water and then reagent blank is used that uh, to calculate if the reagent absorbs any light for that purpose reagent blank is used in the reagent blank we do not put any sample in it only contains the reagents which is used for the uh, for testing a specific uh, analyte standard it is a type of solution which have uh, non concentration and the optical density and the person transmittance both are known so it is helpful for the calculation and to know the concentration of the unknown solution test solution is made by treating a specific volume of the test sample with the reagents the reagents are made, mixed with a specific amount of the solution which is to be determined and this is performed by the manufacturer instructions after taking absorbance of the test solution now we can calculate the concentration of the, the test or unknown solution with the help of this formula and this formula tells us that the concentration of a test solution it is determined by dividing the absorbance of uh, test solution by the 
absorbance of the standard and then multiply it with the concentration of the standard so with the help of machine with the help of calorimeter we can calculate the absorbance of the test and we can calculate the absorbance of the standard the concentration of the standard it is known so in case so for example the absorbance of the test is 5 and the concent absorbance of the standard this is 10 and the concentration of the standard this is 100 performed by this 10 1 yeah, and this is 10 so we can calculate from this formula that the concentration of the test is 50 that is how a uh, we can calculate the concentration of unknown sample with the help of this formula now what are the different applications of uh, calorimeter we can use calorimeter in hospital or medical laboratory for the calculation and estimation of uh, biochemical samples like uh, plasma serum cerebrospinal fluid urine or other fl body fluids and calculate a different kinds of analytes and chemical substances which is present in these samples uh, we can also calculate the serum components uh, for example the glucose the proteins and other biochemical substances present in the blood and calorimeter is used in the food industry and also in the manufacturing industry for manufacturing of uh, pants and textiles calorimeter is used for testing the quality of water and also by screening the chemicals uh, such as chlorine fluoride and other chemical substances which is present in water and these are performed to check the quality of water calorimeter is also used to determine the concentration of different nutrients of plants such as the phosphorus nitrates and ammonia in the soil to check quality of soil the advantages and disadvantages of calorimeter is advantages it have that it is the one of the inexpensive and cheap machine which is used to determine biochemical substances in a solution second thing is it is a good instrument for the quantitative analysis of those compounds which have color and the third advantage of the calorimeter is that it can be easily transportable from one place to another so these are the advantages of a calorimeter the disadvantage is that it cannot be used for those solutions which do not have color. A calorimeter does not work in the ultraviolet region having electromagnetic spectrum uh, range of below 400 nanometer and the infrared region which have electromagnetic spectrum and which have a wavelength below above 700 nanometer. Calorimeter cannot set specific wavelength because we have to set a range uh, of a wavelength as a parameter. So this is the third advantage, disadvantage of uh, calorimeter and the solution which have similar colors, these colors interfere with the result and it can produce error in our results. So these are the disadvantages of calorimeter. Now the limitations of Beer Lambert's law. What are the limitations of Beer Lambert's law? The linearity of Beer Lambert's law is limited by chemical and instrumental factors. Some of these are the deviation in absorptive coefficient at higher concentration. When the solution is higher in concentration than uh, 0.01 molar then the absorptive coefficient, uh, coefficient it deviates from the linear uh, graph and our graph 
did not show the linearity because the concentration of the solution is very high when a solution it have analyte which concentration uh, increase above 0.01 molar concentration then the graph which is received does not give us a straight line but it will deviate slightly than the straight line so when the concentration of analyte is above 10 raised to power minus 2 molar or 0.01 molar concentration then the graph received it is deviated from the straight line this is one of the limitation of the beer lambert's law the second thing is some of the solutions they contain different particles and these particles they scatter the incident light so we cannot get all the light which is transmitted the result is a false negative or a false decrease result so this is the another limitation of beer lambert's law and the third thing is the fluorescence or phosphorescence of the sample some samples they contain fluorescence material which emits lights or which emits radiations so these lights and these radiations they are mixed with the incident and transmitted light it is intermixed with the fluorescence of the solution so we cannot uh, get any conclusion from their results and the interpretation of their result is very difficult when the concentration of an analyte it is very high in a solution then the refractive index of the solution changes so there is a change in the refractive index of the filter and the refractive index of the solution so we cannot get the required result or the good result from this kind of solution and the stray light it is that light the unwanted light which is received at uh, the, the detector or the photo cell this incident light it is received for example we are uh, having a solution of red color and our incident light it is a green color but there is a problem in the filters that some of the filters they allow the light which is not required so that is also received at the receiver and at the photo cell and our result they shows increase transmittance so the results here are fast uh, falsely high that's why the stray light it is also limitations of the beer what are the uses how to use and take care of calorimeter for all instrument read the user manual and prepare a stock record card uh, stock record card which maintains which have all the gear and the sops and the maintenance that is performed for a specific machine use the correct type of cuvette or tube in the calorimeter as recommended by the manufacturer make sure that the tube or cuvette is clean and its optical surfaces which are in front of the incident light or the absorbed light they are dry and free from any marks of the finger or any kind of scratches bring the filter into place before switching on the calorimeter as we performed in the section of operation of calorimeter before use allow sufficient time for the calorimeter to stabilize as instructed by the user manual this is how a solution is poured from a test tube to a sample holder or a to a cuvit and avoid finger marking at the optical surfaces where like light strikes before 
reading the absorbance of any solution check air bubbles in it and at room temperature and at room temperature try to avoid condensation forming on the outside of the tube or the cuvette clean the outside surfaces of the cuvette with tissues uh, uh, to remove any marks from the optical surfaces calibrate the calorimeter for each test if there is a uh, spillage then clean it immediately using water and if required then also use detergent to clean the solutions for prolonged life of the lamp switch off the calorimeter after use it then at the end of the day disconnect it from the main socket and cover the instrument with the dust cover and always keep an extra lamp in stock and replace it as instructed by the manufacturer that was all about the care the maintenance the limitations of beer lambert's law and the advantages and disadvantages of calorimeter hope you have understand it till then allah hafiz